It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to The Craziness, which is your feel good breakfast show espresso. <laughs> and today we are pulling a double duty, hosting The Roger Good Show. But 5 FM's Nick Hammond, he is in for Roger Good this morning. And he's got his own show, Hammond Time, that you can catch weekdays from 9 to 12 midday. Now he's fresh off his second ever Hammond Time heritage tour around South Africa. And we're sitting down to catch up with him to hear about the lessons, the history, and the culture he uncovered in the three weeks across all nine. Provinces. What an experience, Nick. I mean, wild, yeah. incredible because we, we went through, of course, Heritage Month and there's so much to celebrate in South Africa. Now, having been through this kind of experience, tackling it once before, um, how did that change your outlook doing it this year? I mean, what if, what, what is something new? What, what did you do different? So the difference, big difference this year was that we didn't use SABC Studios. We're broadcasting remotely, like from cars and in hotels and meeting people like Rian Munzer yeah. in Elgin where I ran into Zoe, which was just so fantastic. I mean, come on. That was, um, was your highlight. <laughs> it, 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 that was probably the best thing we did this year yeah <laughs> but, but no it's the whole point is we're, we're looking for untold stories we're trying to uncover the mm. people places and hidden gems that make this country great just to remind us as south africans about that because i think we we stray away from it a lot and that's what we found that was the reason we did it i think it's absolutely incredible i mean you did it also straight after your croatia tour yeah. and don't you find sometimes going abroad and coming back home you appreciate home so much more yes of course i mean if you're in cape town you've got basically like a mediterranean climate you go to durban it's the indian ocean yeah. you go there's a high felt there's a low felt i mean just in terms of biodiversity we're one of the most diverse places in yeah. the world never mind 11 national languages never mind um so many different cultures and people and ways of life and i think that's something to celebrate and especially in heritage month that's the best time to do it absolutely now, besides meeting Zoe and Elgin, right, taking a look at, uh, let's, let's just forget about that for one second, but going through this experience once again, I mean, what have you taken away that really stood out for you, that, that, that really connected you, I think, being a South African? Um, how I think very often, and I, as media, I think we're partly to blame, social media can be partly to blame as well, but we, we get South Africans wrong. I think South African people are, are far more... Um, complex, positively so, and, and willing to engage with one another yeah. and willing to learn from each other than, than sometimes um, other, yeah. you know, sort of politicians, mainstream media suggests. And mm. when you get on the ground and you, you get to actually speak to people, you, you walk away with such an optimistic uh, view of who we are. Absolutely. And I mean, also with me being con uh, you know, connected with our, with our viewers and you, when you're out on the field, you get a general sense that South Africans really want to help each other. Yeah. And that is great. We are just fantastic. A, yeah, no, we we helpful, we down-to-earth kind of people, and I love that. I hope you make this a staple, because this was the second Hammond Time Heritage Tour. Uh, are you going to make it a third? So, um, we've actually got a plan to perhaps broaden just parts of South Africa and okay. include some other parts of the continent. We, we're, we're huge into this idea, and I, I think it's part of the SABC's vibe as well, to connect South Africa and South Africans not only to the country, but to the broader continent. So maybe there's something in the pipelines. How you say exciting. maybe, you must say there is something in the pipeline. <laughs> like there's a lot of red tape, budget Speak approvals. Speak it into the universe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come now, man. But you know what? We, it's been incredible following the journey as well, because, I mean, you do a lot, of, a lot about that. Um, will you be doing the same kind of broadcasting from all those different spots once again, once you do, if there is another one coming? To completely. I mean, this is the kind of thing that you could do a million times. You know, we no. did the tour last year, and oh, not a you, single you place. Best friend, man. That's the Bush Baby Sanctuary in the Northwest, which you can go and visit like an hour outside of Johannesburg. I'll and those there, are, dude. It's amazing. It's incredible. So those are all those Bush Babies. That's in, that's in Limpopo now, but all those bush babies have been like abandoned by people who thought, yeah. oh, rad pet, and then decided Aww. that they didn't want I, them. I, I met Sarah there, and, yeah. and she was rather clingy. Yeah. <laughs> she was, was very the, jealous. The pick, well. She was a pickpocket, I think. <laughs> That's a barge, uh, Saki Saaki in Uppington. That dude built that from the ground up like 30 oh, years man. ago. That oh. is... Uh, is that the Kango? That is not the Kango. Not That's the Sodwala Caves oh, uh, in the Northern Cape. There's a dinosaur park there as well. Not Shut real up. dinosaurs. <laughs> uh, that is a fantastic music venue in Shawelo and Soweto where every Tuesday they've got the best live jazz you're going to hear anywhere in the country. It's our born Dude, music you jam. See, it's those That's things, man. salt. I can keep going. A, <laughs> Southern African large telescope. Yeah. Um, like a world's... Uh, first, yeah. and we're really proud to have that. In Do you need country. an assistant? Next yeah, yeah. Carrying your bags, if, if taking your photos. If you're offering Zoe, yes. <laughs> you know, I, I was going to offer, but then you already said that Zoe's your favourite, so it's fine. <laughs> I'll deal with it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. We are still celebrating our birthday. 80 years of Espresso Magic. We're teaming up with the 5M team as well. That's also celebrating their birthday. They don't want to say anything more about that or how old they're getting, but it's fine. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! 5FM. And of course, also uh, make sure to tune into Hammond Time. That's weekdays 9 to 12, eh? So true, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs>